All right, y'all. We're here at the Comedy Cube, and we have a hilarious comedian coming up to the stage. Are y'all ready to laugh? Yeah. All right, let's give it up for Henry Brown. Uh-huh. I heard somebody up here. I heard some of y'all up there. Somebody said, he looked like Steve Harvey off the mustache. I don't know who said it. <laughs> she said it. Uh-huh. Oh, slick. Slick already. I gotta watch y'all. Hey, look. Steve Harvey is one of the most inspirational dudes in the business. I ain't got, look, I ain't got nothing against Steve Harvey. I love Steve Harvey. But I ain't loud as Steve Harvey, though. He loud, ain't he? He be scared of folks in Family Feud. Brown family, Jones family, get your nasty tails over here. We got a show to do. They like, I don't want to go, my ears are bleeding. I said, get over here now. <laughs> he put an S on everything, don't he? Ah, we asked a million people, a million questions, sir. <laughs> and they're gonna know all the answers. This survey says is this. <laughs> Could you imagine if he was like the, uh, if he was the voice of your driver's at? Make a right turn right here, player. Make a left turn right here, player. Uh-oh, here come a butthole. Here come the popo. You better, you better hide your stuff. Good to be here. Good to yeah. be here. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah. Cause I live like right between Koreatown, MacArthur Park and all that is. Like, yeah, you walk through MacArthur Park, you might end up missing. You might end up on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Remember that show, Unsolved Mysteries? Yeah. Well, that show, hey, the scariest part was the host. Cause he come around that corner with the trench coat in the city of LA. You're like, wait a minute, I'm in LA. What is going on in LA? There was a man sitting on the couch. Wait a minute, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm I'm turning this off right now. He tries to turn off the TV, but for some strange reason he can't. Oh my God, mommy! He screams for his mother, but she can't hear him. Daddy! That's not your old father. Next time, on Unsolved Mysteries. Like, oh my God. You need to turn this cable off. Thank you, thank you. Wow, so generous. Such a generous crowd. You know who that reminded me of? The black dude from the Allstate commercial. You know, his name Dennis Haysbert? Oh, that dude, that's another scary dude. Cause I wanna know how come every time there's an accident, he's always at the scene. <laughs> Cause he's causing those accidents, that's why. <laughs> Cause the commercial starts all the same, right? It's like a car, driving 25 miles an hour. Then in the background, you see the car hit a tree. Bam! This is how you know something is wrong. He don't call the ambulance. He don't call the fire department. He don't call the police. He just walks in the middle of the accident like nothing even happened. Oh man, there's an accident, how'd this hit here? Hmm. Cause you caused it. You got the driver on the ground bleeding. Help me, I'm dying. He's like, well, did you call Allstate Insurance? No, well, I guess you gonna die. That's Allstate stand. You gonna be in real good hands once I'm through with you. Real good hands. <laughs> I think either one, they got my car repo. Watch, I got my car repo, I bought one of those Teslas. You know, self-driving cars. I'm gonna tell you right now, look, you gotta be financially responsible if you're gonna buy a Tesla. I missed one payment and it drove itself right back to the dealership. <laughs> While I was in the car, all of a sudden Siri came on, yeah, missed the payment. <laughs> Music came on, no, I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. They kicked me out. I'm like, oh man, this is, she too smart. <laughs> You gotta be careful who you date. I know I don't like women that smoke. I mean, it's cool when y'all young women, but the older y'all get, y'all start getting that raspy voice. <laughs> y'all start getting that raspiness. And that's the last thing you wanna hear in an argument, right? Where are you going? Away from you. Why? Cause you sound just like me, that's why. <laughs> we in the bed and she sound like Barry White. Come to bed, babe. Oh yeah. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Sound like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. I'll get you Gadget next time. Next time. 
<laughs> be careful. Be careful, you dare. I don't get coworkers. If you did a coworker, you might as well fire yourself. Tell you now. Did a coworker got into an argument. You say, I think you're gonna need some space. I'm like, well, you better call in sick, cause um, I ain't got no PTO left. Uh, I'm gonna get a cubicle. <laughs> we need leaders right now, right? We need real leaders. Cause these leaders now, I'm like, I don't know. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Be my own politician. You need somebody like Martin Luther King Jr. right now, yeah. right? Seriously. And then Martin Luther King Jr. came back, I believe it. Because he sounded like a ghost, didn't he? <laughs> he did. He sounded like a ghost. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> ghosts would foreshadow stuff, right? Because he would foreshadow stuff like a ghost. I may not get there with you. Mm -hmm. like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I've been to the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm at the mountaintop, Martin. Tell us. <laughs> free at last, free at last. <laughs> like, no, we're not free. Come back, please. <laughs> Come back, Martin. Please. We all need a hero. Everybody looking for a hero now to save us. I remember when I went back to school. A few years back, I went back to school, you know. And, I had to take all those math prerequisites, and my, my professor, he was, he was my hero, because he got me through that math. Y'all already know what math is like, right? And he was from Africa, too. You know anything about Africans, when they teach, oh, they be passionate, right? They're so passionate, right? And when he walked in the classroom, he already had the equation on the board. That's how passionate he was. When he walked in the classroom, he demanded respect. Class. Pencils down, computers off. Now look up here. Yes. Oh, yes. The equation. Yes, class. The equation. Like, wait a minute. Is this math or magic? What is about to happen? What is going on? And before he did the equation, he liked to give like words of wisdom. You know what I mean? Okay, now, <clears throat> before we get started, first of all, don't look at math as just numbers. That's how he said numbers. Don't look at math as just numbers. <laughs> For the numbers are only there to confuse you. Now look up here. Yes! Oh, yes, class! <laughs> Every time you look at the equation, you get stronger. <laughs> the equation! <laughs> And he hit distractions, like, don't distract this class, right? <laughs> He's like, okay, now you take the, wait a minute. Who is that? <laughs> Who is test missing in my classroom? Brown, is that you test missing in my classroom? You have to ask yourself, you could be anywhere in the world, but know you are here. So let's do it right. Now look up here. Yes! <laughs> ah, yes! The equation class. Ha, ha, ha. And then when he really did, the queen started doing it. Oh, he was, oh, he got into it. And they said, now watch me work. <clears throat> now, you take the three of a five. You take the reciprocal of that. Now you want to do everything in parentheses. So we want to follow the Pindas method. We do exponents first. We want to do the multiplication, division, subtraction. We want to do all the factors. Then we want to bring that down. The Then we want to do quadratic formula. Then look at the parabola. The parabola. Oh, yes. The parabola. Yes. The parabola. Therefore, x equal five. You see how I did that, class? You see how I did that? Like, no, we did not see how you did that. This is the first day of class. What are you talking about? <laughs> and he was like, the first of all, I would call you out, right? Brown, get up here. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I said, get up here now. Give me the markers. Oh, okay. All right. But he was very encouraging. You can do it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, so I take the three over five. Yes. All right. Then I want to take the reciprocal of that. Um, I want to do everything in the parentheses first. Yes. All right. And I want to do the exponents. And I want to start with the subtraction. No. I don't start with subtraction. No. I start with multiplication. Yes. All right. And then I want to take the quadratic formula. And then do the parabola. The parabola. The parabola. And then I want to take the, um, the, do everything else. And therefore, x equal five. Yes. 
Now sit down. <laughs> Class dismissed. I'm Henry Brown, y'all. Thank you very much. This has been a Funny Media Group production.